and today I will be talking about phonetics and phonology. Hey Dangri, can you tell me the difference between phonetic and phonology? Of course, phonetics study the sound we make when we speak and how they are physically produced. And phonology analyze how this sound function within a language. Hi Dangri. Can you tell me an example combining phonetic and phonology? Of course, combining example, the word butter. Phonology looks at the phonemes, the sound that change meanings in its language. Example, phonemes in the word butter. This is an example. Phonology is interesting in the structure of the word, using the phonemes and how function in the language. And remember, if you change one phoneme, you change the meanings in the word. And phonetic study how the word is really pronounced in actual speech. In American English, butter is often pronounced body with a flat sound. In British English, it's more commonly pronounced, pronounced body with a clear T. Hello, my name is Yasmir Karenko, and today I will be talking to you about phoneme and allophone. Let's get started. Hello, girl. Me. Yes, I have a question for you. Can you tell me what is the difference between phoneme and allophone? Yes, a phoneme is a sound that changes the meaning of a word. Yes. For example, beat and beat have different phonemes. And allophone? An allophone is a variation of the same phoneme. For example, the t and top, the t and better sound a little different, but they are still the same phoneme. And we use the APA, International Phonetic Alphabet, to write sounds in a process we like in think or in she. Hello everyone, my name is Luis, and today I will be talking about how we produce sounds in English. Think of your mouth as an instrument to make of these different sounds. We use several parts of our body. First, your low push are out. They are travel up through your vocal cord. Your vocal cord can either be brave making a sound or they can open Later, the R pass Saturday. We we'll see an example of that in a moment. After the R pass, the vocal cord is go through your mouth. This is where we use our articulator. These are the part we use to change the sound your lip, your toe, your teeth, and your pilot. Let's look at my name is Luis. As an example, when you say the letter B, like in baby, your two lips come together to start the eye flow for a second. That's why we can eat a bilabial sound, by four to bilabial for lip. Now let's talk about voicing. This whether your vocal cords are vibrating or not. This is a very important concept in English. A sound that vibrates is called a voice sound. A sound that doesn't vibrate is called voiceless. Let's try a penitent. Please place your hands on your throat. Now say the sound S like in C. C. Do you feel any vibration, right? See, if your answer is no, that is right because it's, that is called voiceless sound voiceless sound, any vibration, and, and the word z, 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 like in z. Z, 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 Now, say the sound z, 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 like in z, 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 z. Can you feel the vibration in your throat? Yes, it is. That's a voice sound, a voice sound. What is really interesting is that we use that extra same mouth position 
for both S and Z. The only difference that with C, we are reversing our vocal cord. That's happened with many pairs of songs in English. So, remember, to produce sounds, we need air from our loud. We decide if you want to vibrate our vocal cord, and then we use our lead, toggle, and T to share the final sound. The final sound. Remember? And that's it is. Now you know the basic of how we produce sound in English. Thank you. My name is Maria Paola. I will be talking the difference between the vowels and consonants. There are 21 consonants and 5 vowels in English alphabet. The sound in English are divided into vowels and consonants. Vowels are produced when air freely escapes. They are A, E, I, O, U. Maria, what is the consonant? Consonant on the other hand of stress, the air is like, for example, T, K, or B. For example, in the word cat, we have two consonants, K and T. The two examples in the word eat, we have one long vowel, E, and one consonant, T. Hello everyone, my name is Rances Garcia. Today I'm going to talk about how English pronunciation changes depending on the context. We will focus on two main concepts, pronunciation insulation and connected speech. Number one, pronunciation in insulation. When we pronounce song in insulation, they are clear separated and easy to recognize this is the when soul usually spared in dictionaries or when learn the alphabet song in English. For example, T, D, is practicing song in insulation is very helpful to make sure you are pronouncing each song correctly. Number two, phonetic speech. However, in natural speech, English speakers know not pronounce every sound separately instant. Sound chants and connotes to make the speak smoother and faster. This is called connected speech and there are several common processes. Connected speak number one linking when two sounds join together example Go on and go on. Number two, intrusion. When an extra song appears to help the word connect. Example, I saw it. I saw it. Number three, Ellison. With a sound despair because it is easier to pronounce the word without it. Example, friendship and friendship and the last one assimilation when one song change to become more like the next song example good girl and good girl this process happen naturally in everyday speech and they are the reason why english sometimes sound different from what we see writing by practicing both pronunciation and insulation and connected speech, your way improves your clarity and also sound more fluent and natural when speaking English. Give like, comment, comment. share. If you like the video, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video.